Russian special group mysteriously disappears in Belgorod, it might have sided with the rebels. A special Rosgvardia group has mysteriously disappeared near the town of Graveron in Belgorod region where fierce fighting is taking place. This was reported by the Russian telegram channel of Kremlin Snuffbox, citing its sources Ukrainian dialogue media outlet reported. The resource noted that Moscow publishes very little information about the fighting in the Belgorod region as it spoils the background of the re-election of Russian dictator Putin. However, very heavy fighting is going on there. Some information does not get out and it is, alas, not always positive. On March the 18th, a group of Roskvadia special forces suddenly stopped communicating near the town of Graveron in the Belgorod region. There were five servicemen in the group who had moved to the forward positions by car, the Telegram channel reported. It specified that the car was soon found blown up near Graveron. There were no traces of the military at the site, including no body fragments. Sources in the general staff hinted that there might have been treachery and switching to the enemy's side, the Russian resource specified. Fighting in the border areas of Russia's Belgorod and Kursk regions began on the night of March the 12th. Russian Volunteer Corps, Freedom to Russia Legion, Siberian Battalion and others fighting on the side of Ukraine broke the border and entered the territory of the Russian Federation. Several settlements on the border have been taken under their control. Ukraine's military intelligence spokesman Andriy Yusov said the militias are comprised of Russian citizens who are part of Ukraine's defense and security forces, but stressed that their incursions into Russia are not taking place under Kyiv's orders. On the territory of the Russian Federation, they act absolutely autonomously on their own and pursue their social and political program tasks, Yusov told the media. Kirillo Budinov, the military intelligence chief, said that anti-Kremlin militias had been helping Ukraine from the very beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion, and Ukrainian forces would try to support them as well to the extent possible. Despite Moscow's confident announcement of fending off the incursions, fighting in the border regions only grew. Ukrainians use new tactics against Russians enemy confused and their losses increase rapidly. The war in Ukraine continues and the Ukrainian soldiers use a new tactic at the front amid a lack of ammunition. They strike with artillery and then destroy the remnants of the enemy forces with the help of FPV drones. Such drones cannot become a literal replacement for shells, but they can supplement traditional artillery and alleviate the reducing but constant shortage of ammunition. Among the defenders of the Ukrainian state, Forbes writes, One of the Ukrainian tactics that we observe is that accurate artillery fire strikes a large Russian assault group and scatters its troops and hardware. Disorganized, survivors taking cover beyond the protection of their radio jammers and air defense equipment become easy targets for FPVs which attack isolated soldiers and hardware, the article says. The publication notes that while previously a battery of Ukrainians could fire 10 shells to hit a Russian assault group, now it can use only 5 shells and coordinate its actions with FPV drone operators to eliminate the enemies. The journalists added that the Ukrainian army's shell famine deepened at the end of 2023 and a network of hundreds of small workshops across our country began producing more combat drones. According to the publication, they can now make more than 50,000 drones, which apparently far exceeds Russia's own production of effective drones. In the worst days of Ukraine's artillery crisis last month, Kyiv's batteries were firing just 2,000 shells a day, a fifth as many shells as Russian batteries were firing. The ammo gap is one reason why the Ukrainian garrison in Avdiivka in eastern Ukraine ultimately had no choice but to retreat in mid-February, delivering to the Russians their only major battlefield win of the winter. But the ammo gap now is shrinking and Ukrainian brigades are holding the line along the front while inflicting devastating and unsustainable losses on attacking Russian regiments. Lately, it hasn't been unusual for the Russians to lose a thousand people and dozens of armored vehicles in a single day.